Thank you for joining this webinar on how to create assignments. When you log into GradeCam, you'll be here on your home page. Of course, you'll see the new. You want to make sure you're on assignments because you may have landed in classes or students. So make sure you click on assignments. New. We have three choices. Multiple question assignments, scored, or credit. We're going to be doing multiple question assignment. And I will give this a name. And you can do a description if you want as far as, you know, a first semester benchmark assessment. And then you click in here to change the length. You can do up to 1,000. I'm going to do uh, 20. And then you can set your date. If you set the date ahead of time, you can still scan this. This doesn't hide it from you. Some teachers, you know, you can sort over here by date. So some like to put the first day of the first semester and then the first day of the second semester or you know each week so they can go to each week of their tests and you hit save. From here you're automatically taken into the key window and this is where you can either print out a blank form and you can print a form and fill in your bubbles and then scan your answer key and this will then populate your answers or you can just go in and click. From here also, you're going to check the box and you can create a, a, I'm sorry, align standards. So I would go in and I can choose my English. And then as you check the box in front of the standards and hit your save, then this shows that those are the two standards that you have aligned to this question. The name of the game and the key is to check and uncheck. You can check multiple questions and align the same standard to those questions if you would like. But then just make sure you uncheck them because if you don't uncheck them, then it will um, override what you've previously done if you go in and choose another standard. You can also edit this question. We have the ability to do rubric, gridded response, and true and false. So with the rubric, I'm able to go in and of course you can put more options here. You can change your options anytime you have this bubble field and you see the pencil then you can edit that. The multiplier means this is times 2 so if I only do 4, 5, 6 then that becomes 8, 10, 12, and 14. Also if I'm editing a multiple choice question I can go F, G, H, I, J or I can put in other letters. It doesn't have to be. If you're doing specific things, you can have up to 10 answer choices. And then after you choose the correct one, then you can create um, a point value. So this is worth two instead of one. And then hit your save. And if I go down here, oops, I gotta uncheck one, and I'm gonna edit number two, and I'm gonna choose a gridded response. From here, I can choose how many columns I want, of course, However many columns creates a bigger grid. You want to put your answer in. And then if you want to do a plus or minus percentage, and again, you can uh, weight the points. It shows down here what you can add, the plus, the division, the multiplication, and then also capital E. After you're done, since you've customized your key, you're going to come over here to Forms, and you can choose to print a generic form for any class. So if you generate that, I'll show you how that form looks because the students will have to enter their student ID since I haven't chosen a class. So you can see the difference in how the form looks. There's my grid of response, here's my uh, different letters, and then the students would fill in their ID. If you choose to add a class, then GreyCam will do that for you. Of course, here's your percentage on sizes if you want to do um, copies, and if you want to do one form or multiple forms per page. This one with the gridded response probably won't do more per page, but you can play around with that as well. And if you're changing the size, I would suggest making one and then filling it in just to make sure that that will scan. Sometimes your cameras won't be able to read different sizes just because of the uh, resolution of the camera and how, how it reads the form. So here you see the student ID box is not being shown, 
but it shows me this is Drew Brees, this is a class, and this is a test. So now this form can only be used for this test and this class and this student. So that's quickly how to create an assignment. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. You can send an email to support at gradecam.com or you can call 866-472-3339 and I'm extension 703 for tech support or option 3. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.